Hey everybody, this is Seth here with you today. We're going to just take a quick look at creating some buttons in MainStage uh, with the primary focus being we want to change patches, previous patch, next patch from our synth or controller and not having to use keyboard clicks, uh, mouse clicks, and whatnot. So pretty simple. We're just going to go through a couple steps here and look at some different options on how to customize that and get that working for your setup. All right, so first thing is, let's just go ahead. I'm in the layout menu, first of all. Down here, panel controls, I'm gonna create a button. I'm gonna pick this guy. I'm just gonna drag it into our layout menu here. All right, so first thing is, let's go ahead and take a look at the inspector over here. Um, right away, I'm just gonna go ahead, I don't want it to really say anything, so under labels, I just make that nothing so it's nice and clean. Uh, and then I will just quickly shrink that guy down. I don't need a giant button on my screen. Nice small one will do. You can tell I already have a bunch of this template set up, so obviously skip some steps there, just focusing on the buttons. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is let's go back over to the inspector, and we want to assign it to whatever button uh, or whatever we want that to be on our synth. Um, today, I'm basically just going to be using um, I'm on an Oxygen 61. I'm going to be using the stop, play, and then uh, for just a, something fun on the end, just the record button on, on the Oxygen 61. You can, you can get creative and map these to different buttons if you want, but um, the, some of that's a lot of the stuff on the Oxygen is already programmed to, to serve a certain function. I find that these are the easiest to map for this kind of job. So we're going to assign, and this is going to be my previous patch, or sorry, next patch, as you can see, I already have that sort of set to be down, uh, down the set list, and I want that to be play, so I'm going to hit assign, and then on my controller, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the play button. Cool, so you can see that it saw that, saw the MIDI message. Um, for whatever reason, my controller is transmitting on channel 2. That doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on 1 through 16, so nothing gets weird. We do want to make sure that it's on a press and release, and then for now, um, the controller number isn't really that important to us, as long as it's not being used by something else again. If you wanted to get into more complex mapping, you might, you might have to mess with that. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a previous patch button. Uh, I'm just going to copy paste that guy, so I have the same same size. Oh, yeah, I created a. There we go. Cool. Put that over there. And now we're going to do the same thing. Assign. This one I want to be stop C28 on my oxygen here. Stop. All right. Seize it again. Still seeing it on channel two. Whatever. Let's make that one through 16. So now both of these buttons are ready to, uh, to, to get messages from our stop and play buttons, and now we just need to tell them in the edit mode when and what we want want to happen when we hit those. Okay, so this is the most important part. Um, I'm going to assume that you want these buttons to be global, as, meaning you want them to be to function the same no matter where you're at in your concert. I get asked this a lot, um, and basically the only thing you need to make sure is that before you map anything, make sure you're on the concert level. You've clicked on the con the main. Uh, concert level here of your of your of, of your program and not an individual patch, right? Otherwise, it'll, it, this mapping will only affect when you're on letter A or letter F or whatever it is. So, main concert level, cool. Select the button we want to map. Let's do the next patch first. Now, down here in the inspector, you can see it's on maps. I want to tell it to go to the next patch. That's under actions. Boom, next patch, that's it. Now when I hit the play button, that's just gonna scroll me through my concert, nice and easy, awesome. Cool, same process now for the previous. Make sure you're on the concert level, select their button on maps, actions, previous patch, done. So now if we're down here, I'm going to hit the stop button, and that's going to take me to the previous. We have forward and backward motion, all from the controller. 
can keep your grubby hands off your MacBook Pro, it's all good. Cool. So just uh, one more thing. Oh, I have the habit of just control Sing, and Sing. <laughs> uh, one more thing. So sometimes it's kind of nice to have a button that will just take you to the top. So just for kicks, so to see that process one more time, let's create a button that's going to just always take us. My computer's running kind of slow. Always take us to the top of the show. One thing I didn't talk about earlier. I always try to label this stuff. Didn't do that on the others. Anyway, so let's just call this one top of show again. So normally I would say nothing. Let's say we actually did want that to have a, have a label. Um, oh, actually I don't want that. Nothing there, but let's add a hardware label. And we just, we're just going to have it say top. Boom. Easy peasy. Cool. So same thing. We're going to need to assign it. And I'm going to make this the, the nice big red record button. Again, 1 through 16, press the release, all good, doesn't matter. Awesome, ready to go. So now back in edit, we have our sweet top of the show button for those, I don't know, fast recess to the top of the show, I guess. Sure. All right, make sure we're at the concert level. Click our button. Actions, now this one will, I don't know if there's a more elegant way to do this. Um, I just use the jump to patch. And then over here, you can see we can kind of customize some stuff. Um, I don't care whether I'm, I'm uh, pushing it or releasing it. I want it to take me to the top. It's just one function. So obviously, you can see you could get creative with this kind of stuff. Um, if you wanted to have multiple buttons that are going to take you to you know, frequent, uh, frequent starting points or whatever, you could do that too. Um, but I'm just going to make one that's going to jump me to the top. So, so we're at letter E, yeah, okay, air bells, the scout, whatever. Um, and then we want to go back to the top. Boom, easy as that. So now we're, we're ready to rock. Play button's moving us forward, nice and quick. Stop button's moving us back. Record, back to the top. All right, so hopefully that helps, and uh, that will clean up some of your setup things and make it a little easier on yourself or or your synth players, or whatever your function is. And uh, all right, happy synthing. See you next time.